everyone welcome back to all round health talk where our health is a priority now we have a question from a viewer that says how do i know i have depression now depression is something that has become so common especially since covid 19. did you know that as of 2021 280 million people had depression yeah it's that alarming and these numbers keep increasing on a daily basis but what exactly is depression depression is a mental disorder that can affect your everyday activities and responsibilities even the simple things like sleeping and eating can become really difficult when one is depressed now it is important for us to know that we have days when we feel sad and down and we don't want to do anything that doesn't mean we are depressed now for us to say someone is depressed for us to talk about depression you have to have certain signs and symptoms almost every day for at least two weeks now you ask the question i'm here to answer i'm going to give you seven signs to know that you have depression because when you know you can easily get help and that's the idea of this 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 channel to educate so that we are informed and we can get the help that we need now seven signs that you are probably depressed number one you find yourself feeling so tired and fatigued and exhausted even after doing the minimum activity sometimes you wake up even exhausted now if you've been feeling like that recently you want to pay attention to other symptoms you probably have depression number two you have this feeling of hopelessness and pessimism you tend to be pessimistic towards life towards everything because you have this feeling that nothing works out nothing is worth it and that every situation is hopeless that is a sign of depression now you want to keep watching the video to know if you have other signs of depression but before we continue remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't but importantly click the notification button so you get notified for every time i post a video now number three sign that you are depressed you're probably very irritable and cranky if you realize that lately lately you've become irritable everything annoys you everything irritates you it's probably a sign of depression number four you tend to feel sad anxious or empty so when you realize that all of a sudden you're beginning to feel so sad not the normal days that we are feeling sad and then we get up on our feet and go back to activities no this time your sadness is prolonged you feel empty like you have nothing to live for that is probably a sign of depression now number five is a loss of interest in your activities and hobbies that you used to enjoy it could be going out it could be sex it could be cooking reading writing even your job your career things that you used to enjoy you no longer enjoy them that could be a sign of depression now number six is sleeping disorder you might start having problems sleeping so you're probably having insomnia because you cannot sleep or you're waking up too early because you cannot stay asleep or sometimes you're oversleeping sleeping more than usual can be a sign of depression and number seven which is very important harmful thoughts when you start having thoughts of harming yourself or suicidal thoughts you really need to get, get help because that could be a sign of depression but because i care about you i'm going to give you extra signs of depression now another sign of depression is food or feeding disorder you tend to not have appetite or you're eating excessively also digestive problems sometimes you think you're having ulcer but it's a sign of depression another sign of depression are crying spells you find yourself crying randomly for no good reason you don't even know why you're crying you're just crying that could be a sign of depression and last but not the least memory issues you can start having problems remembering things or lack of concentration or general memory deficits that could be 
a sign of depression. So now we know the signs of depression, but we want to know, right, what could cause depression? Now, depression can be caused by a variety of things, but basically is a mixture of both genetic factors, environmental factors, psychological and emotional factors. Now, people who have family history of depression have a higher risk of suffering from depression and people who have suffered some level of trauma for example it could be the loss of a loved one the loss of a job your house burnt down it could be anything that is traumatic to you could actually lead you to a depressed state and then obviously alterations in hormonal levels especially in women during pregnancy and after pregnancy more, many women all over the world suffer from depression during their pregnancy stage or immediately after giving birth. So these are the causes of depression. But the good news is that there are treatments out there for depression. The idea of this video is for you to know what the signs are so that you can get immediate help. If you feel depressed, if you feel sad, if you feel irritable, any of the signs I've mentioned in this video, Remember that you're not alone. Speak to someone, a friend or a family member, or go see your physician. If depression is caught on time, it can be treated and you can live a normal life. There are medications for treatment and there's psychotherapy where you sit and you talk to a therapist. So there's help out there and depression can be treated. All we need to do is pay attention to how we feel and get immediate help. I hope this video has been very helpful to you. If it has, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also put on your notification so you get notified for every time I post a video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know that you like this kind of videos and I can produce more of this video and also share the video. We want this video to get out to as many people as possible so that we can create awareness, right? And also don't forget to leave a comment or a question i'll always be in the comment section waiting for your questions or comments thank you so much for being with me today and i'll see you in the next one bye